Run in five, four, three, two, one, action! Good evening, Planet Earth. I'm Steve Judah. And I'm Don Beasley. And you're watching the Animal Plus News at Five. Today we start off with a local cat show. Two cats competed. The winning cat was our own, Daniel Radcliffe, who won at the annual scratching competition. Meanwhile, young Alice Clark of Detroit raised over $20,000 for her Girl Scout troop over the course of three months. The money will be used to assist the children's charity of Detroit to provide vital medical and therapeutic services, recreational facilities, and educational opportunities to children with special needs. In other news, a roller coaster ride fell off the tracks today at Six Flags, Arkansas. Fortunately, no one was hurt since no one was riding the what would have been fatal coaster. Six Flags Arkansas will be closed until further notice. More news on that later. Now we bring you to a special segment called Tega with Stephen Colbert. Hey Stephen Colbert, how are you? I'm great but very cold. Right now I'm standing in the Taiga in Canada. It's below freezing. Thanks for the term, thanks for the thermal, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here today to inform viewers on this beautiful location called the Taiga. It doesn't stop here. Taiga exists in many different areas like inland Alaska, Sweden, Finland, Norway, Scandinavia, and Russia. This gorgeous place is worth taking a vacation to, but bundle up! It isn't very windy here due to the tall trees and wet, frozen ground. It's moderate humidity, but still plenty cold. Summers can get as high as 70 degrees Fahrenheit, while winters can get as low as negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and can last up to six months. In addition to the cold, there's some sunlight in the taiga, enough to allow trees to grow. Here to comment on this is a black spruce tree. Thanks, Stephen Colbert. You know, it's hard to grow in that taiga. Soil is acidic, which is not great for me and my friends to develop in due to decaying pine needles. However, it's enough for us to grow. Precipitation occurs five to seven months per year, about 14 to 20 inches deep annually in the form of snow. In the taiga, I'm an example of what's called a symbiotic relationship or mutualism. I work with lichen by producing dead matter. Consumed by me, the lichen. In turn, the dead matter also produces nutrients for me. So we assist each other in survival. Wow, how interesting. I wish that I had a symbiotic relationship. Thanks, you two. Taiga is also home to many animals such as crossbills, snowshoe hares, moose, voles, shrews, deer, and beavers. We have three guest reporters here to discuss food chains in the taiga. I'm a berry. Like the black spruce tree, I'm a producer. And being an autotroph, I embrace sweet, sweet sunlight. I am a tiny plant though, and sometimes I have to let other animals eat me outside. But I've got a great personality, and if you just get to know me... Mmm, that was a yummy berry. That's the first step in a taiga food chain. I'm a red squirrel, an herbivore, a consumer, and a case strategist. Being a small animal is difficult because there are just so many animals that like the taste of my pretty red fur, my moisturized skin. Oh, why wouldn't someone just like to eat me right now? Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Phew! That was a close one. That hawk has been trying to get me for a long time. Ha ha ha, hawk! Better luck next time. Well, I better get going. Ah! Yuck, now I have fur in my teeth. I'm a martin. I'm the third component to this Taga food chain. Unfortunately for the red squirrel, I'm a carnivore. There are no other animals that eat me. Typically, I'm, I look like a bushy-tailed fox or a little bear due to my big paws. Even though I'm cute, I'm feisty. I'm the, t I'm the top of the chain, the cream of the crop, the best of the best, and nothing can stop this mark. That's enough now. We're going to wrap up this segment with some interesting facts about this biome. The world's oldest trees are the bristlecone pines. One of them is 4,600 years old and is located in a taiga. 
Also, needles actually help keep coniferous trees warmer in the winter. I bet you didn't know that. This has been Stephen Colbert reporting the segment Taiga for the Animal Plus News at 5. Thank you so much, Stephen Colbert. Thank you too, Steve Judah. Well, that's all for tonight, folks. This has been Don Beasley and Steve Judah for the Good News at 5. Good evening and have a pleasant tomorrow. are melting you know what that means everything's going swimmingly global warming it's hot global warming it's not cool Have to wear any clothes.